So the purpose of this is to basically just go through a workout with a professional fighter, Mark Hunt. He came to the island, so I decided why not do a workout with a legend, you know what I mean? A kickboxing, MMA, just a legend, in, you know, as a, as a human being. Look, there's a camera here. Dude, over here. Simplicity, it's about mentally getting through the round. So first one's two minutes, second one's one minute, third one's two minutes. So if you can get through the two minutes, then the next one is easy, then you get to the last one. And you, it, it, it's about expectation. So if, if you're in a fight, you know you've got X amount of time to execute something. So it's the same thing, whether you're punching, you're squatting, whatever, it's just about mentally pushing through. So yeah, that's the concept behind it. It's being functional, you got your core workouts, your legs, your upper body, your cardio, your heart. It's covering all bases. Fuck, feeling boy. Gotta be the toughest, baby! He's an OG, right? So when you speak with someone that has been through everything, that has experienced pretty much anything in the game, from fighting in Japan, K1, to fighting in the US, to fighting in the UFC, to fighting for pride, But if you're already mental, then it's just normal, dawa. Then it's just day to day living. You wake up and you choose greatness. The chase to greatness is lonely. Where comes loneliness? It comes a bit of misery, but it's all worth it at the end, right? That's what it's about. Sacrifice in order for better life for your family, right? Just one, each station, just one minute. And then the third round will be the two minutes again. Fuck how we're doing. I believe it's been two years since his last fight. So Mark is just trying to get back into shape. And uh, I just wanted to go through one of the workouts that he goes through to get back into shape. It's intense, but you could go at your own pace which is always the best workouts. Because if you want to be a bitch, you could be a bitch if you really want to. You know, I expected today to be a nice, sunny morning, beautiful skies, but it's not always sunny in paradise. Fighters, people in general on the island, they get their workouts in no matter what, riding on their motorbike in, in monsoon rain, rain feeling like it's pieces of glass hitting your face. They don't care, they come work out. Me, not so much, I guess I'm not that of a human being uh, but i made it here luckily there's a taxi and we got done i have a not many people know i have an older brother who's in a in the ufc and he's heavyweight so i had to make a we made the decision to go down to light heavyweight and that way we don't you know we don't clash in the same division. That's it. Well, what? I see you before, son. 
Yeah, it's taking a run. They aren't, you know. No, 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 no. Somewhere else. Did you um, do any porn back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. <laughs> one thing I learned from Mark, number one, is it's never too late. It's never too late. Mark is doing everything at uh, an age where most fighters have disappeared from the sport completely, right? I, I believe he's 48 years old right now. Yeah. Don't exhaust it. Go easy. <laughs> at 40 years old, most fighters, you don't even hear about them anymore unless they're promoting fights or something or, or they're getting arrested or something crazy is happening, right? So for him to come back on to fighting, it's never too late to start training. He's training for, with all the stuff that he's been through, like physically and mentally, in his career, and he still has the hunger to get up and and train and, and fight somebody that could, you know, pretty much kill him. It says something about Mark, right? And it's and, and you could find inspiration and, and motivation from him. <laughs>